officials from West Germany, the referee Wolfgang Gunther Weisel, Gary Lineker on the left, and Kalimbe Reza of Beziktas, the captain of uh, Turkey on the right. He's one of five players in the side who come from that club, a club instantly managed by the former England midfield player, Gordon Milne. The pitch is well grassed, although a little bumpy, and not as good as the pitch that the under-21 side played on yesterday. That's the uh, Turkish lineup. He's made five changes, Set Piontek, former manager of the Danish national side. And you remember back in 84, it was he who denied Bobby Robson's team a place in the European Championship Finals. Confirmation of the English side, two new caps, means that uh, Graham Taylor has so far used 27 players and awarded four new caps during his reign as the England manager. And I would think it's a fairly proud afternoon for Crew Alexandria. Two of their former players, Jeff Thomas and David Platt, having moved on to be members of the England midfield. The crowd is fairly small and vast in sunshine on the far side. There's the England duo, the England manager on the left, and the assistant to the manager, Laurie McMenemy. And down through the coaching staff and the physiotherapist to the doctor. England playing in blue, sky blue strip, attacking the goal to our right against the side that they've now played. We're playing for the fifth occasion, and the previous four matches, England have scored 21 goals and not conceded any. There was that uh, game here in Izmir in a European Championship qualifier when the result was nil-nil. Apart from that, there have been two eights and one five. Lee Dixon, one of three Arsenal players in the side. Here's another. Smith, first touch for Dennis Wise. Trying to find Lineker. Gary Pallister gets his chance because of the uh, injury. Taking no chances. Uh, Dilma Lidvan suggesting a little bit of pace. Just being recalled to the side of Lidvan after two years out. Had a lot of problems with knee injuries. And uh, his club sent him to the United States for an operation. Here's Wise from fairly deep. Thomas. away from him but a typical piece of batting to get it back and at least force the error from the defender match being played in the Ataturk Stadium named after Mustafa Kemal Ataturk the first president of this country he got rid of the Greeks from Izmir where he was president in 1923 first chance for a cross from Wise Standing foot let him down. Chance for Dixon to try a long one. Pallister coming up to the near edge of the six yard area. Which means that Smith pulls out from there. Barnes on the far side. Lineker between the two. Busy start. This is Barnes. That has to be a free kick. Barnes by Mohamed. That's Seth Biontech. Completed one year of a four year contract in charge of the Turkish side. Which we thought when we looked at it beforehand was a little short. This is certainly well within range of Stuart Pierce. Maybe touched by Barnes. No, the first time shot. Flies over the crossbar. Enables me to bring in for the first time Trevor Brooking. Well, this sort of game, from England's point of view, is one of those you know, where you're expected to win. And uh, of course, I think it's important these first 10 or 15 minutes. You see the free kick here, a long way out. But, uh, it was never low enough to, to trouble the Turkish goalkeeper. But these sort of games. You mustn't let uh, a side like Turkey get the initiative or get a bit of an encouragement. And England has started quite promisingly. Uh, 
quite competitively, denying the Turkish side any space, and um, that's what they've got to do, take an early grip on the game, try and get ahead, and then build from there, of course. Certainly Wise is hugging the right touchline at the start. This is Des Walker. Walker down the left side, being followed all the time by uh, Regep. Walker, too long. Released back by Gherkin. This is he number four. Made five changes from the team that uh, were beaten in Poland. In a rather poor game in which uh, the Turks did have the chances before the Poles scored three times. Two of them from clear errors. That's a snap shot by Stuart Pierce. Caused the goalkeeper to look up a little bit, but no more than that. Goalkeeper making his debut. Demirbash Hayretin from Galatasaray. This was quickly there, but really directed. They're basically playing two up, the Turks. A bit more adventurous than in the away match in Warsaw. Not to be won by uh, Alistair. Barnes, space on the right side, wise on the touchline. Stretch by Unal. Crowd enjoy the challenge. And Walker having to recover with the line a bit square at the moment that he did. Nobody else would have uh, held up the Turks. So they play with Ridvan and Sanju up front, and then they have uh, people breaking from midfield. And I think it'd be important for Lee Dixon and Stuart Pierce to, to push forward to help the, the English midfield players, because uh, the under 21s did struggle in that area where they were outnumbered on occasion. Flat trying to find Lineker. Lineker hope for the free kick, which he doesn't get. Played in the nil-nil uh, draw here in Izmir back in April 87 and was kicked all over the place and the referee seemed to be oblivious to his problems finally booked his marker with about 10 minutes to go which was really neither here nor there Stuart Pierce. Lineker runs slightly off his toe Tanjo Again, Tanju. Ruban. Tanju still waiting in the middle. Found back to defend. Turkish ball. He's going to take the throw. Important challenge that by Wise. Who now was hopeful. Stadels and Dennis Wise, who made a fair start. Certainly one of the more surprising selections. A rather in and out season with Chelsea. After his uh, big money transfer from Wimbledon. Just 1.6 million. Very popular at the beginning, but then the crowd more recently have been rather getting at him. Now with the throw. Look at that time staying well off Pallister. Dixon. Lineker right side. Rig up with him. Wise. He got slightly caught in two minds then, uh, Dennis Wise. I think it was a moment when he thought about the shot. And then maybe the thought went through his mind, Trevor, I've been brought into the side to cross the ball, and he ended up crossing too long. Good crossing opportunity. As you see, Gary Lineker hustled the defender into the mistake, controls it very well, and Alan Smith drifts towards the far post, and he's got clear of his marker and a, a good cross, and, and that is what uh, Dennis Wise has been put out there. Well, 
forced to put the ball over towards the far post, pick out Alan Smith because Ram Taylor does feel that the Turkish defence are vulnerable on crosses as they showed on one or two occasions against the Polish team. Dobbs have already played the fouls twice. Beaten home 1-0 and away 3-0. So Poland in terms of goal difference, which might count for quite a lot in this group seven, have only managed four goals against the side considered the weakest. Charlton's team scored five in Dublin. Still have to play here. They play their last match here when England are in Poland. Four in the area. Came off the head of Thomas. Won by Pallister. Cleared by Pierce. change the angle. Gurkan with the through ball. Attempted. Yes. Barnes coming inside. Lineker and Smith forward. Lineker on the left side. This is he. Drop back about 15 yards to collect. By Smith looking for Barnes. starting a match for only the second time. Total catch is five, but the uh, others were substitute appearances. Tanju. We're now waiting on the left side. I don't think Black will hold that. No, he didn't. focused on the camera rather than the camera on him. This is Unal. Unal winning his 19th cap and brought into the side. Sepp Jontek impressed with uh, Abdullah who played against the Poles but that was his first cap and he felt that uh, Abdullah didn't have the required experience for this fixture. Jontek very much more the gambler. Good challenge by Pierce, but it's expensive before. <laughs> and you're the only player in a threatening position at the moment. Now Ali takes a place ahead of him. And the Ridvan is up as well. And a full stretch was David Seaman with the fingertips. Covered by Jeff Thomas. David Seaman being applauded by the Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon for that save. Certainly fingertip stuff. Nicely worked. Nobody coming in on the far side and pushed away and fortunately landed comfortably. And from the corner, Seaman makes an easy catch. Second quarter was a bad one. The first one, I mean, the Turkish side all round aren't very tall, and uh, they decided to take it initially short. And I would think uh, that would be the better bet because I'd be very disappointed looking at the, the variation in height if the English defence was pulled out um, and gave uh, the Turkish forwards a free header. So the short corner might be their better bet. Smith time to jump slightly the better. Dixon, it's long, and it's a bit too long. The intention is there. Heather Smith was being aimed for. It should be said, the uh, cross from well in the last third of the field. 
goalkeeper not looking entirely happy as to precisely where he was in his area. Pallister got beaten by Tanju, and then the free kick given with some holding by Walker on Ridvard. Tanju got up very well because he's several inches shorter than Gary Pallister. Time jump, wasn't it? Uh, Gary Pelletter went up early and was on his way down, and uh, Andrew uh, timed it better and just got a vital flicker. All about timing, is it now? Don't ask me about heading. I remember you scoring a goal with your head. First time in a cup final here in the European Championship in Izmir. Been playing a little over 14 minutes. The uh, shot by Ogun. Come to be locked. No score. It's well taken by Unal. Shot rather earlier than he needed to. And the precious little part. It really is a major bonus for uh, England and Graham Taylor. The result in Dublin. I haven't already heard it. Uh, the Irish were held scoreless. Nil-nil draw by Poland. Give things on a chance of going to the top of the group. And a chance to do something about the goal difference too. Wise is cross. And Barnes with the shot. Looks again looking a little static and peering. It's a much better cross from Dennis Wise. Uh, as soon as he got it, drove it in that time rather than hang it up. And uh, I think crosses on with pace. Graham Taylor, as you can see, turns in one movement and then drives it across towards the far post, clears everyone, and John Burns decided to hit it early and just pulling it across the goal. But uh, that sort of cross at speed gives uh, the defence, any defence, because the Turkish defence, less time to adjust and get back into position. Dixon. Why? Certainly seeing a lot of the ball. Two, now three, Barnes, a ricochet, a little unkind to England. Landsman doesn't seem to be quite sure what the referee has given the goal kick. Well, it was a bit unlucky there because uh, just Thomas it was who just flicked it on with his head, uh, David Black crossing and uh, just rebounded as you can see, David Black kicked it in, just Thomas touches it on. As John Barnes looks to be, might have got it under control, the defender could easily have fallen better for the uh, two England forwards just lurking. Gary Lineker, as ever. Nearer of those two. Shadow beginning to go across the ground. It's fairly warm out there. The players will be quite pleased, the England players anyway, when the uh, sun dips down. I'm in Turkey, two hours ahead of British summertime. This is wise. But that could not be said of his cross. It, I suspect the die is closed. Great through ball by David Platt to set up the opening. Mehmet. The evidence the Polish match, Mehmet, the uh, most gifted of the players in midfield for his country. Little fellow wearing number nine. Ogun, plenty of time. Still the same two up, Tanju and Ridvan. Both over the left side. Three of them pushing forward from the centre circle and Unal staying back. And basically only three out and out defenders, obviously when the possession is with the Turks. Thank you. 
front two, followed by the jet, number five. Goon is marking uh, Alan Smith, and Gurkhan, the spare defender between them. The Smith, Barnes, Corner Gibbon. Is it out because I thought the tackle rebounded off uh, Jeff Thomas, but we won't argue the point. Bannister once more has come up by the near post. Barnes is a little bit shorter than that. And the goalkeeper rather palmed it down, but certainly came for it. Walker. Nice touch. Dixon. Saw his chance. Committed the three probe. Just played it a bit too long. The idea was good. And now they're trying to use the space that he's left. Walker coming on Ridvan. And Gary Lineker gets back to make the challenge. He's got to do it again. It's come again to Ridvan. And it's blocked. And Lineker finally gets it away. And England in a bit of a state then. And it really all came from uh, the attempt to get forward by Lee Dixon. But by playing the ball too far forward, he left the gap behind. Seaman will be very happy to have that in his hands, and so will the management and the rest of the England team. There's Walker and Gary Lineker just collided there, and it was David Platt who got the vital co-ender. <laughs> Quite an impressive dive forward looking for the penalty, but uh, no way was it. But uh, as you say, great ball out defence by the Turkish sweeper Gurkhan, rather than just whacking it clear, set it back into the space where Lee Dixon had got pulled out, and uh, they broke very effectively. And as you say, a fortunate escape. Uh, 20 minutes gone. No score, and at this stage, England will be quite happy about that. Dixon to take the free kick. Wines has gone ahead on the right, and they're just into the edge of the area now. All the other players are on the left side. Kicks. It was right across the face of everybody. Pierce. Alistair. Derek Squire is happy to let him bring it uh, 10 or 15 yards. Now Ali goes to Pierce. Flat. Pierce. Platt, Barnes further ahead down that touchline. And he and Pierce fight in each other's way, but they make it work. What a challenge by uh, Jurkan. Got a composed player, Gurkan. Playing behind two different defenders from the last match. Smith. Barnes. Gurkan calmly away. Walker. That turned his back on it. And has come forward four against four for a moment. Four against three indeed. Man in possession is Ridvan. Really should have used it much more quickly. There was a moment then when he could have played it square and England would have been in trouble. David Platt absolutely turned his back on the ball and made the forward run. And it's across and it's well claimed. David Seaman made two or three uh, good catches and uh, good palms away, which will do him a world of good. On this occasion, this sort of quick throw-in, hooked on, as I say, good goalkeeping, holding on to it. Ali for Turkey. Certainly a free kick, which is quickly taken. Way with forward ball. By a big fan. His pace has caused England a few problems, and they're certainly getting more forward from midfield than in the away fixture. They fixed uh, the last match in Warsaw. 
Smith coming a bit deeper to collect. Platt, wise inside him. And Dixon taken out by that pass. Mehmet, a bit too long. Gurkhan, there's where the ball should have gone in the first place. Liza, Ali on the run. Fierce. Barnes ahead. Smith. Barnes. There's a gap down the middle for Barnes. If he takes on the sweep, and he does, a real chance for John Barnes. He doesn't finish what he started. He wants the corner. He's not going to get it. But it was a very, very good break, and he'll be disappointed not to have got it on target after making use of the room that opened up in front of him. Superb layoff by Alan Smith. Unselfish. And there, John Barnes, a typical Liverpool run, wasn't it? And, I, you know, I think he went for the shot. I would have said uh, perhaps a square ball to two both players running in might have been the safer bet, but if it had ended up in the back of the net, would have all said what a magnificent individual goal it was. But um, on reflection, the square one always is the better option. Well, certainly Barnes thought that the goalkeeper got a bit of a touch to it. And it may well be from the replay that he was right. Would have been lovely had he buried it. Lineker, nobody in particular. was Smith Barnes when the scores for it and gets it three up for England Barnes Pierce makes a run out to the left. Goon has gone with him. No ball. Smith. Plant has got forward. Barnes. Kind of got it away. Thomas, good header. Lineker. Barnes. One touch too many. Although it ran loose. A little harsh on him, but somehow when he's playing for England, he always wants to make sure. Good position. Gary Lineker holds it up. Little layoff. The second touch was the one that was too heavy. Gave the chance for the goalkeeper to come and spread. Perhaps the first touch had been a little bit wider it had given him the option on the, the shot I think he got tucked underneath him and he needed the second one and knocked it too far wise crossed by Barnes flat shot was blocked That's a bit further back and the uh, Turks screaming out a terrible pass there but uh, that was the old uh, charge of the night brigade there from the Turkish defence they motored out to the halfway line and uh, their under 21 defence did it very much yesterday and Grant Taylor's obviously watched it because uh, the England team did well moved out with them but uh, found it difficult then to, to clip it over the top and it just dribbled out and played rather tamely in the end Ballister. Mehmet to make the error, which he did. And now Ridvan. Cover by Dixon. Then 
Baker. And takes over. And pull up. Ali. What's he to do? He's got three England men around him. Thomas wins possession. Gokan. Just battling by the captain. Given against Gary Lineker, seems a bit surprising. Flat. Flat's made the run and got away for a moment. Three waiting for the cross. Good header out by Rejep. Beat Lineker, Gurkhan, Mehmed. Smith down the middle, and the goalkeeper loses. Gurkhan covers, and the whistle has gone anyway for a challenge on the goalkeeper. It seemed to me to be a question of a goalkeeper coming out, big man down the middle chasing in. The goalkeepers always win those with referees. Particularly on the continent. I mean, from my point of view, there was nothing wrong with that challenge. And I think Alan Smith just got there first and then uh, hit the goalkeeper, who was a bit weary, had one eye on him and, and the other on the ball, and that's why it bobbled away. I'm not sure any England player would have got on the end of it to put it into the net, but uh, no way was it free kick. So coming up to the end, the first third of the contest. No score here in Izmir between Turkey and England. That was the case over 90 minutes in uh, Dublin this afternoon between uh, the Republic of Ireland and Poland. And in terms of chances in this one, we've had two to uh, Turkey's one. Turkey's one caused by the pace and uh, efforts of Ridvan. England's chances both falling to John Barnes. Here's Ridvan again. No room to manoeuvre there. Brunal. Ridvan, incidentally, the one member of the side from uh, Fenerbahce. Last appearance in the national side was uh, back in May 89. So not all that time with knee problems. David Seaman. Three cats on the trot now. In confidence in the Turkish side. On. Smith trying to get behind the sweeper. <laughs> the kick has been given, which Stuart Pierce can take, to which Pannister has gone forward. On the far side from the kicker, the near side from our viewpoint. Lineker, Flat and Smith, the others in the area. And it's won by Pallister. And Wise, has it gone? Yes, it has. And little Dennis Wise, wasn't a classic goal, but he won't mind about that. The ball won by Pallister in the air, and Wise managing to get a part of his small frame on the end of it to make sure that it went over the line. It was a classic bobbler, I think, wasn't it? Uh, Gary Pallister's height there to get in that first touch and I thought he might have headed it Dennis Wise went to hit it with his left foot I think it, the goalkeeper hit him and it came back off his arm or his knee or something I'm sure he's not complaining whatever it was because he's ended up in the back of the net and a crucial time to score well, There were no complaints from the Turkish players but it would be interesting to see whether it did in fact go in off his arm went for the shot well, one of those iffy ones but it counts England have the lead coming up to the 33rd minute of the match. This field hasn't done quite as well as one would wish. One of the quartet, one of the new caps, has given England the lead. That's a good play by Reid Barnes. Wanted to do too much. Had the opportunity for the shot. And Wise now the defender. 
Foster playing the role of scorer. Free kick again to the gap. I think it was important for England to score then because they'd had quite a good spell of 15 minutes or so with the John, two bunt John Barnes and then the Alan Smith, uh, the free kick. And I think if you're playing in a side that's just had one or two near, near misses, you get a bit frustrated. So I think uh, it was important that they then got ahead. This wise. Holding it off. Holding his man off. Fierce. What a noise being made by England supporters. Fierce having to uh, tidy a mess of his own making. And then have broken their dark in Izmir. Kirkhan's clearance by no means as confident as most of those that have gone before. Good passing by Ali against Thomas. Hope he knows who he's taking on. Barnes doesn't get the better of Reza, or does he? That's nicely brought out. Ridvan, away from Pallister, who gets back at him to be alongside and force him to turn for the second time. Tanju plays it back to him again. And Ridvan was offside. Good individual, Ridvan. I've been impressed with him opening half an hour or so. <laughs> Laurie McNamara and Grant Taylor just trying to keep the momentum going. But Ridvan is the one player in the Turkish side who has caused some problems with his ability to take people on. Six. Looks it long for Smith when Lineker was in space. And Smith was asked to move about 15 yards to the left. productive in my opinion. Tanju, won by Pallister. Platt, Pierce. Just down the middle. Lineker now just to his right. Four behind them. And the back four pushing forward as well. Comes to Smith. And let him go then. It's Unal. The running steps of Lineker seem to have an effect then. Barnes gives it away. Bit of space for Ali. Walker has gone across. Tanju is in the middle. Free kick. happy about that because that was a clear opportunity for a cross of the ball and 10 times you were waiting and the rather's coming up found by Des Walker Ogun has joined the others up front and Tanju well it was a chance for a man who was once the winner of the golden boot for the top scorer at club level for his club Galatasaray Wasn't Mark, couldn't direct the header. Well, there's a discussion going on, shall we call it, in the English defence as to how Tanju aimed to have, what, three or four yards of space at the far post. And I think it's Lee Dixon who uh, they've decided just crept into the middle. Wasn't picking up anyone, as you saw, probably in the replay. And uh, I think it was his man who got three. Flat, a nice little header. Dixon, Smith, on for Wise. Lineker in the area, so is Barnes, but the ball isn't. further down Gurkan it's a bit 
bit casual then, and that's well played by Smith, who's then seemed to me to be obstructed. Played by Mohammed. Got the Turks out of trouble. And now they'll be completely out of trouble from the free kick. Stuart Pierce involved twice in the move, got in the cross, Smith up onto the woodwork, and it's Thomas who hits it, does well to keep it down, and the goalkeeper turns it over. Little nod on, and the goalkeeper in extreme is again, but again, gets the benefit of the referee's whistle. Easily the best move of the game by England, uh, the little triangle, uh, John Barnes, Stuart Pierce. And, of course, uh, also, we've just seen this corner kick as it came on. Gary Pallister nodding it in. But it was Gary Lineker, as I say, John Barnes then, Stuart Pierce who created that opening. Stuart Pierce, good near post cross. Alan Smith, who I think worked very hard, very unselfish, linked. Uh, the team played very, very well. Uh, deserved the goal. Came back off the woodwork. Jeff Thomas, as you say, kept his volley down well. And the goalkeeper pulling out a save that uh, we hadn't anticipated from him so far. No test for Seaman from uh, Rajiv. We're into the last five minutes of the first half. England leading by a goal to nothing. For Dennis Wise. the argument by uh, Tanju, who is a little uh, won't to carry the debate on for quite a long time. He's got himself booked in Warsaw, precisely that. Hold off his man well, they do now. Good running. Not the pass. Free kick. Kick. Just got a free kick in a nasty situation though. The referees counted on that. Any opportunity to give them a, a free kick and that's in a dangerous situation. likely striker, Arizaz behind him. In fact, it's not Ridvan, it's uh, taken by Tanju. Now David Platt. Wise popping up on the left side for the first time. Useful ball to Barnes. <laughs> Referee line play to go on and rightly. Barnes not getting the cross that he was hoping for. Ogun. Tanju, four ball. Stuart Pierce, I must say, <laughs> I was going to say it's good to see him going forward, but not like that. All that it happens to everyone, stepped on the ball. <laughs> Return forward for the first time. Ridvan, won by Pallister comfortably. Slow to come out. Mehmet. 
We've got two in on the 18-yard line. Anjou and Ali. Ali now comes out to collect number 11. Well up again by Pallister. the first half. Sanju is just on side. Getting support. Ridvan. And the shot was from uh, Unal. Smith. incident. The one goal scored by Dennis Wise in the 31st minute. Lineker. Wise. Comes inside when there was more room outside. This will run by Ali. Covered by Walker. in pace this Turkish team and they have supported quite well from midfield and do concentrate simply on playing rather than acting as part-time referee as well it might add to a few problems that England have had two in the area against two at the moment and the referee brings the first half to an end England leading by one goal to nothing not a classic goal down to the heading power of Pannister and uh, Wise trying to get on the end. Stretch didn't get it cleanly, but it came back onto his body and on over the line. First half, I expected to go to th over the line. First half, I expected to go to three or four nil now that we've got that first goal. Well, let's hope they keep it up. We understand there's been an England uh, substitution. Stevie Hodge uh, on for Jeff Thomas as the... Uh, Turkish interviews and presentation continues. We'll return to our team out there. Trevor Brooking and Barry Davis. Yes, the England substitution during the halftime interval sees the arrival for the second half of Stevie Hodge in place of Jeff Thomas. We think it's uh, because of a knock that uh, Jeff Thomas took, but it's a real opportunity this for Stevie Hodge. has always wanted to play for England in the middle of the midfield, a place that... Uh, he tried to get from Brian Robson, which was like banging ahead against the brick wall. Stevie Hodge now gets the chance here in his mirror. The season with a lot of injuries. That's surely vital for Nottingham Forest in the upcoming cup final. This is club captain, Stuart Pearce, rather pulled that across. Shadow now is almost completely across the pitch, so the conditions will be a little cooler for the England players. No changes, incidentally, in the Turkish lineup. As you say, Steve Hodge, uh, that is his best position, uh, central midfield. I kind of think Jeff Thomas must have got it. I'm not sure whether he assumed what it was, because I thought uh, he and David Platt made a lot of good forward runs, which helped get the numbers uh, better in the penalty area than perhaps we've had in recent games, which is why we had one or two more opportunities. Good fun. Covered. Covering header was by uh, Walker and the back pass by Pierce. For the second half opens with a corner to the home side. And the skipper down by the touchline. Ridvan. Met by uh, Lee Dixon. Problems in the first half, the Arsenal pullback, I think it's fair to say. Good determination from the skipper Lineker. Gets it back from Smith. A little bit sharp for Lineker. 
Smith can be pleased with his first 45 minutes back in the uh, England setup. Chosen in the starting lineup only the second time, winning his fifth cap. Very comfortable afternoon so far for the uh, West German official. Really taking exactly the same uh, position as Jeff Thomas, a position which he would choose for himself in any team that he played. In the uh, left, the centre of midfield. Free kick to be taken by Mohammed. Quite long. Comes out to John Barr. Smith in the centre circle. Linker going away in the inside right position. Hodge in possession. Smith. Contact checking. I reckon we played three minutes of the second half. Barnes, the pass made for Smith. Mehmet. Walker covering. Run by Ali. go in the second half ring and certainly wouldn't go amiss it might uh, give Grant Taylor the chance when he's trying to really settle down and uh, tell him a bit more about the combination he's chosen for this contest so not too many managers have awarded new caps in competitive games two of them he's got a third David Batty of Leeds on the bench to a political phrase which has been popular recently Certainly his own man. Red Bun. Well, out by Pallister. And uh, over the head of uh, Karama Unal. Traps on Spur. Missed the Polish trip because he was injured. And, uh, something that Piontek, that Piontek has had a, a lot to put up with. And he was saying to me before the match that uh, players don't recover as quickly and the backup isn't quite as good as he was used to with the Danish team. Three against three here. Outside. I think it is Van. It won't count. There will be a roar, but it's not going to count. The flag has been up long since. And the combination of the England three doing the job nullifying the threat <laughs> but Lutvan wanting to go on and put it in the net I think he knew it wasn't going to count a bit of confident appeal by uh, Stuart Pearce we can where's that Barnes has tracked him all the way. That's a Mehmet. Moyes coming into the middle of the midfield. Ridvan is behind most of the best things the Turks have done. And here's an opportunity. It's a good tackle by Walker. They wanted the penalty, but the referee was absolutely right. It's a good tackle by Walker. On Ali. He was well placed, the West German official, but the crowd obviously didn't like it. Got no need to come back inside there, Ali. He should have hit the shot early, taken it on his left foot. A great bit of individual skill by Ridvan, who went past two or three English defenders. And you just sense English, the English side hadn't quite gathered, started the second half with the momentum they did uh, finish on that last 20 minutes of the first. And it's got whether the tactical change that we apparently is uh, just coming kind of going off and see what's coming on. Uh, whether it's just unsettled the rhythm of the English side, I don't know, but they've not started as convinced. Position to take a free kick. Smith is up on it. Go kick. 
Adrian, you have to say. Graham Taylor seeing something that he wanted to change. And Jeff Thomas, who didn't have a bad first 45 minutes at international level, losing out to the more experienced Steve Hodge. Players on the bench, incidentally, Chris Woods, the goalkeeper, Gary Stevens in defence, David Batty and Nigel Clough. Had a very good return after two years out of the international arena. It's a good run too by Ali. And uh, just a moment then when Dennis Wise was caught sleeping. I think it was a bit of a shout. The run was by Unal. This is Ali. Barnes. And it's a corner. All credit to the Turkish team. This is a good start to the second half for them. Been playing eight minutes and they are this juncture seriously questioning England's lead. Ridvan. Does well in the left back position. Ridvan again. a lot of the ball and finding a fair amount of space here he is again then it's the Turkish ball and the crowd are getting very much behind the home team Reza Mehmet Gunu played it in but he's found again Reza two calling for it in the middle that's David Siemens Good possession football for the Turkish team. Uh, a good individual. Certainly, Ridvan stands out uh, above everyone. But just sometimes they work into a good situation and then their final ball lets them down. And that's the difference probably at the moment between the two sides, those, those final balls. A match a little reminiscent of 24 hours ago in the under-21 game when uh, in the second half, the Turks came out and really outpassed the uh, England youngsters. Coming back, having missed two good opportunities, one of them a penalty. Finally finish up with a point and a two-all draw in that contest. Lineker, that's a power by Recep. Just played the man. Power has increased slightly in number. People have finished their day's work. 10 past 7 in the evening here in Izmir. A lovely evening too. Seven spots by Ogun. Mohamed. Mehmet. Free kick given against Wise. A bad free kick as well by Dennis Wise, which initially gave the possession again to the Turkish team at the moment. England giving the ball away far too readily. That was well won by Steve Hodge. Barnes, Pierce, they're pushing up the Turks. John Barnes, who couldn't take it, it's a free kick. John Barnes, cap number 63. The 11th game since he last scored for his country. Off his head. Challenge by Pierce. Strong and perfectly fair. Platt. 
Break on the right side for Wise. The change for Jeff was not marking Lineker, but came for the ball. Ogun. Ali. How would you like from Des Walker? Free kick. I'm not tempting fate, but I think England have weathered the uh, few moments of Turkish delight. Pierce with the free kick. Smith up on the far side calling for it. It's coming to him. to the Arsenal goalkeeper. 28 clean sheets this season for his club and one for his country against Cameroon. Sigrun sent him match by uh, Chris Woods. Two of his for his country. The addiction is doing just there. Something in the eye. Yeah, David Stevens deliberately kicked it out there. Uh, whether it was an elbow or something, I don't know. But uh, a little entourage coming on. You usually see that on the continent, not so often with the England physiotherapy squad. Just to uh, complete the difference, uh, the whistling is coming from the crowd who are used to having unseen people come on at the site of an injury. So we're coming up to the 14th minute of the second half. England still leading by one goal to nothing. Scorer Dennis Wise in the 31st minute. And the goal which at this stage is putting England on the top of Group 7. Because earlier this afternoon, the Republic of Ireland and Poland drew 0-0 in Dublin. Wise looking for the cross. did not found one yet in the second half. Useful back hill. I think uh, even before this match started, but, uh, I've known that his side had precious little chance of reaching the European Championship final. They never have. Once made the World Cup finals in 1954, courtesy of the drawing of lots, the young blind boy drew out their name rather than that of Spain. Pagun. four-year contract and uh, probably need most of that to make his presence felt. It's a good moment though in the last two days from his youngsters and from his seniors, particularly from this man, Ridvan, who is certainly testing Walker for pace there and Walker gives away the free kick for the push. Fair parade of the military, as you may have seen from our two shots. Not the best of challenges. That's another free kick. On the end of it, Stuart Pierce was the aggressor. to leave it. Areza number two is the most likely. 
the moment it looks more like a pass than a shot. Three coming from the left. And a rather strong shot way offside. He came back off the woodwork, but way offside. Had three men then who were clearly offside. Tanjun look, looks at the linesman, but there was no doubt about that one either. Good defensive unit here by England. As you see, the ball plays square and they all move up. And uh, three definitely offside players there. I don't know why, why they were appealing afterwards, thinking they were hard done by, but uh, shows that the training ground has been working well for England because they did move up very well to get the offside decision. And a certain suggestion of uh, naivety and perhaps a complaint owed more to embarrassment than anything else. But it's got the crowd going a little bit. And another free kick given for a second challenge over on the far side while we were looking at the replay. It lifted them even more. It lifted is the right word. They're probably lifted as well because uh, Turkey at the moment are controlling the game. Uh, they've sort of got that midfield department now, which in the first half I think England battled and closed them down and, and kept gaining possession. Whereas since the, the start of this second half, it's the Turkish side that have uh, got possession and England have tended to give the ball away rather hurriedly. Smith underneath it. Jump for better. Well, has been given, but not from there. Well, Trevor really hasn't been able to get into the match yet. Just one winning of the ball, I remember, from the sort of position he's in now. Yeah, he'd be disappointed, uh, because as we say, we waited a few seasons to have a, a run in that central midfield position. But it's the whole team, really. Uh, there's, there's no unison at all and uh, two or three passes and uh, they've lost possession. And here's a chance from Mehmet. Give it under control. So he puts his hands on his head and it missed the goal uh, by a long way, but it, it wasn't that hard a chance. I mean, it sat up quite nice and uh, you've only got to pick one of those volleys properly. The ball fly in the net and the whole picture of the game changes. And at the moment we're living uh, a little bit rapidly at Return for you, and there's Graham Taylor. I think, understandably, getting off his bench to voice what he thinks too. Might perhaps have a stronger word for it. Fierce. Report in two minds then. Ali. It's an England ball. Lineker, Smith in the middle, Wise far side. Lineker shields it well. Barnes, a bit tight down there. And we played 20 minutes of the second half. Still the one goal, scored by Wise in the 31st minute. This England the lead. Gives the Chelsea player the goal on his debut. Here's Hodge. The corner. Manister <laughs> making his way forward. One the ball in the air that uh, Wise got onto the end of it. But Wise takes this corner, and in comes Panister with a header. Right <laughs> at in. Just trying to take. Again, just eager to rather dive in. Palace is trying to bring some organisation. Then Wise and Gladys thought twice about the back pass because Ali was waiting. Very, very nearly played it. Lineker. Maybe a little indicative of how things have gone for England that uh, Captain has felt two or three times the need to come back into midfield. Smith's cross, and here's Lineker. Good save. Very, very good stop. That was a follow-up. Barnes was able to quicken the pace 
sufficiently to get to the ball, but that really was a very good stop by Hyrett in the second fine save he's made in this match. The first was from Thomas, and the second there denying Gary Lineker his 40th goal for England. Terrific cross by Alan Smith, and uh, Gary Lineker selling the dummy as if he was going to head the ball, chested it, and hit it on the half volley. Probably from the goalkeeping point of view, just a nice height, but uh, he hit it well enough and hit the point is not fine the net as he picks himself up off the floor there. Perhaps the near thing. I like a bit of a touch favour for England. It's been rather disappointing in the second half. Hodge. Quite sure who's pulling or leaning on who. The more. The referee's view is that... Uh, Hodge was the guilty party. Tanju and Ridvan, still the two forward. We've seen that much of Tanju, missed a good header in the first half, and really he should have got it on target. And didn't. Ridvan, we've seen too much of. Barnes, Smith. Well, holds off several people. Not quite the pass that Pierce was hoping for. Pierce trying to get Barnes away. Okay. And over on this side is Oveza. Being well spread out. This is a good move again. With England back in numbers. All back by one now. Lineker the only player forward for England. And the early one. And wise that Lineker is offside. unnecessary is that on the right side have been waiting quite a long time before receiving the ball edge pace by a little flick forward and here's Ridvan good challenge by Walker Ridvan really taking people on good pace good talent now David Platt got two forward there's nothing really moving in midfield now slowly there is from Hodge Walker Lineker at the trot throw or free kick I'm not sure which that's the throw Barnes Stuart Pierce holding off Ali as well to get the low cross and Wise wasn't too far away from getting his second good step over in the near post by Gary Lineker and uh, again first time Stuart Pierce has got ahead Gary Lineker as I say stepping over it and it's Wise just for one of these the legs to be a little bit longer than perhaps they are I imagine there might have been many times in his life when he's wished that actually Trevor Lineker for the chase we made Agun to Oriza to Ridvan Walker getting there first this time I don't like the fact that he kicked the ball away we're in the 26th minute of the second half England leading by one to nothing David Seaman, shot from uh, Unal. A little bit of movement on the uh, 
Turkish bench. None on England. On by Hodge. Smith. Hodge. Barnes. Smith again, twice involved. Interesting there, Stevie Hodge has slipped over. There are quite a few of the English players on occasion. Dennis Weiss did it. Weiss did it a number of times. Um, when they have to turn sharply, whether they've got the wrong studs or whether it's just uh, the type of, of surface, but they do seem to lose their footing easy. On by Smith. Lineker. Man got the wrong side of him, Rajib. Pass for a wise cut out. Farid Van. And an opportunity for the Turkish team to make the substitution. They're bringing off Ali. And in his stead comes Fayaz, another player with Gordon Milne's team, Besiktas. Back made his debut as a substitute against England here in 1987. Top score in the championship last year. Half the total of 28 so far this season. Smith, he's got away from Ogun. Flat has got forward. Couldn't direct the header. Or a few goals from that situation. Remember the, the World Cup scoring, scoring uh, had a difficult about that range in the one in Italy, wasn't there in the third, fourth place as well. But uh, there, that one just behind him, he couldn't direct it low enough. It bothers me the number of times that Walker has to win the ball, otherwise England have been cut through the middle. On another occasion, the header. A red van. Stopped by Hodge. Clearances in defence a bit reminiscent of the game against the Republic of Ireland. The ball's just coming straight back. It's goal kick. Again, the final ball. Let it. Turkish team down. A little nod towards the bench there. Yes, I should have done better because uh, they have got into good wide positions, but their crossing has been poor, though. They have got a lot of height in there, so they're trying to put them in at pace for quite a few. Two few. Many hours have been for the manager project. They have ended up going behind the goal. Team yet to score a goal in this European qualifying group. Played through last three. They played four, lost four. If England hang on to the goal scored by Wise with 15 minutes left. Start to report. I have to say, hanging on, a pretty fair summary in the second half. Lineker, Smith is unmarked in the middle. Plant is there as well. Pierce, Barnes, Hodge, still Hodge. He's got a lot to do now. Does well to keep it in play, prevent the goal kick in the end. Uh, Touch that took it wide was a bit strong. Little break down the side, which is quickly seen by Platt. He has his first pass, was not memorable. Walker gets forward, don't often see that. Smith, Walker, Wise, knock off the ball, unfairly. By Unal. With a few smiles on the bench. Maybe somebody said pick on someone your own side. It would be difficult. This is uh, Lineker. Useful cross. Smith. And again, Smith, the goalkeeper in two minds. Still loose. Put away by Ogun. Very unlucky, Alan Smith, because it was one of those that went up in the air, and when it's hanging up there, you've got to sort of make your own power, as you can see. Ball comes over from Dennis Wise. The first header goes off the back of the defender, and then you've got to almost head it and get the power. Didn't quite time it. And, uh, just drift. Goalkeeper scrambled away. 
And the defence scrambled it away from the corner. Crowd's roar increases. And this is Ridvan. And he's got away this time from Walker. Seeming to narrow the angle. He's inside. He's doing too much. Or is he? Yes, he is. Walker got back to him. Having made the gap, the angle may not have been as good as he would have wished, but surely he should have attempted it. It's a fine run. He's been suggesting he's going to get away from Walker, and Walker has so often been the back man that that had to happen. Fortunately for England, they escape. He is an exciting player, though. He's uh, been out for, for that length of time to come back, and uh, he looks so accomplished on the ball. I think if he, he is naturally right-footed. I mean, a lot of times today he's turned to get it onto his favourite foot, but as you say, coming in from the angle, you've got to take a chance to hit with your left foot. So he created it out of nothing yet again. Gurkhan. Quiet after going through a little chorus of Ridvan, Ridvan. Can. A little bit short. Najib. Kunal. Tackled by Wise. And then by Platt. Free kick given against uh, Dennis Wise. Ten yards off the ball. The Turks have pushed three players up on the edge of the area. One by Pallister. Lineker. Free kick. Prince Mohammed. Dixon. That's my colleague. Smith. Dixon again. for the Turkish team so you have to say Trevor have been the better side by quite an amount in the second period well we've lived terribly dangerously a good clip cross in their face they only had to hit it down a fraction lower it was in the middle of the goal so David Seaman probably would have been able to tip it over but either side of him and lower and uh, that scoreline would have been 1-1 and as you say on the second half play it's uh, perhaps what Turkey deserve because they have played very well, they've passed it, they've moved well, good individual skill, all different things which in the second half England haven't been able to produce and as you say, Des Walker there, pace has on a number of occasions uh, been the saving grace. Smith. I think they're trying to get behind the defence, Platt. Wise, up and under from uh, Lee Dixon, Smith, particularly pretty. I think that was handball by Pallister, it was indeed. In for the last nine minutes of the match. England still leading by one to nothing. Turkish team starting so much better, it appeared that England had weathered the storm. And it was a quiet spell for a while, and then the Turks have come back with a vengeance. But they've not been able to finish so far what they've uh, built. Ridvan. Stop away by Des Walker and Alan Smith back to help the defence and Lineker here is in a one-on-one -on -one. and uh, I think rather played for that free kick the referee isn't going to give it to him probably should have but I don't think that 
it was the most genuine attempt that Gary's ever made to get the ball. certainly seen a lot of the ball and uh, I wish to make myself unpopular in some quarters I cannot help but wonder what might have been done with a similar amount of possession by the absent Mr. Water. it's Hodge certainly in his current form which is blistering this is Hodge three to cross go kick England's selection uh, today was, was always going to be more of a, a sort of functional, hard-working side. And, and perhaps, definitely in this second half, they, they have given the ball away that too much. And when they begin began to tire a bit, they haven't had it. the individuals that can just put their foot on the ball and, and, and keep possession and somebody who can go past the defender. And at this level, you do need those type of players. Point made, I think. again, a red van, good break on score, good cover by Pierce. so far for Graham Taylor. Defense has been unchanged until the day when uh, Wright was replaced because of a thigh strain by Gary Pallister. So the defense, the back four, to be strictly accurate. Two forward. Tanju and the Ridvan. Pallister half won it. And this is Fayez, who's coming in behind those front two. Shot from Unal. Vital for England's European Championship hopes that they hang on to this one goal. Six minutes left. Mehmet. Dixon just getting back. They're coming in from the wide position. the other end for David Seaman. Pallister. Good gun. The light begins to fade. Hodge. Dixon down the right side wise Hodge wise to go kick England content to let the minutes tick away Turkey Goalkeeper Iretti, very anxious to get on with it to see if they can get this elusive goal. There's four of them, plus a little bit of time to be allowed by the referee, but not very much. Pierce, Barnes, still Barnes, flat, Hodge, Pierce makes the forward run, nice little ball by Hodge, the low cross. Lineker not, not able to get in front of uh, Recep. Take 
Craig certainly is starting to feel this is a far better performance than his team had in Warsaw. Just to see what they do when they come to Wembley. Match in October. Green pick has been given in England's favour. Pierce to take. Smith and Platt on the far side. Zinnica joins them. Barnes comes in in front. Near side of the penalty spot as we look. Go a long way for the back and gets the nod down. And only the, well, Clearance fell a little bit kindly. That's what he's found. He's got his foot on it. He's in defence as well. Hodge. Kipper rather played into trouble. That's determined. Forty-three minutes of the half have elapsed, according to my watch. Two to go. Walker. Shirt pulling going on. Walker wins out. Flat. Barnes. And with undoubted individual skill, we haven't seen international level again on this occasion. Break by Unal. And hopeful, Panas to deny him. Now Platt. The ball here look back on with any affection. We're into the last minute. Panister. Smith down the middle, Lineker almost up alongside him. Yes. Smith, Lineker far post. And then throw. Sweeper coming to take Smith on that occasion. And England in absolutely no hurry to take the throw. and the West German referee blows the final whistle and at the end of the day England's position in the European Championship qualifying has greatly improved but their victory by the only goal scored by Dennis Wise in the 31st minute here was a far from convincing one well, the first uh, half, I thought England played quite well and uh, deserved to get ahead, but the second half was uh, a case of hanging on, giving the ball away too much, and I think everyone will be, I think Grand Taylor in particular, will be relieved with the result, but know that uh, there are still a lot of these decisions and a lot of positions undecided for the months ahead. So, we return you from Izmir to the studio as the uh, Turks go into their interviews for Steve Ryder's interview with Jimmy Hill. Well, we'll hear from Jimmy in just a moment, but there's the group table. It was never going to be easy, but it's the result that England wanted. They go top of Group 7 after that win, and the Republic of Ireland's goalless draw with Poland uh, in Dublin earlier today. England have got Turkey at Wembley next. Republic of Ireland go to Poland. Jack Charlton has said, don't write off the Irish. Uh, but, Jimmy, it looks advantage England now. What did you make of that performance? Yeah, most disappointing second half. Having said that uh, if they got the second goal, they'd go to three or four, uh, it was a, like another team coming out. It was a Jekyll and Hyde performance. Yeah, and thank God it wasn't um, two Mr Hyde performances. Where did that difference come from, though? I don't know. I mean, it, it's, uh, 
their attitude when they started the game was very professional, and they were obviously a typical English first division team in a funny kind of way. You know, they were there to compete, everyone to add his little contribution to the teamwork. And they pressurised, they ran as a team, they played as a unit. Um, I mean, you can't say, what did Graham Taylor say to them at half-time? Because obviously he didn't say, go out and give the kind of lethargic performance that they did. Uh, but they seem to have lost that running, they seem to have lost that capacity to close down. And when you are closing down numbers of players, once one player loses the marking, then the whole lot gets lost. And, and of course the Turks are, you know, are a better side than perhaps we give them credit for over here. They can play, uh, played some quite artistic football in the second half. Their finishing was appalling, thank goodness, on the day, because we got the result.